in a highly feministic world, what does it look like to be an independent woman of God, uh, but also have healthy submission in a relationship? Um, I know it's so funny because I'm like, I don't see myself as highly feministic. You know what I mean? Um, I kind of just go with him. Um, but the world is so much that, and it can have its strengths and also its weaknesses. And so I think then, again, it goes back to the first question of, like, dying to yourself. You know what I mean? Like, you two shall become one. Right, not and individualistic. So, right, exactly. And so, yeah, you want, I feel like I'm a strong woman. Um, Very strong. But also not feminine. I love the fact that he shuts the door. You know what I mean? Like, these women, sometimes I'm like, why do you want to be a man? You know what I mean? Like, it's awesome to have somebody take care of you. And maybe that's old school. I don't know. But um, so, yeah, I think that the healthy submission just comes in your relationship even with the Lord as you grow and mature in that. You know what I mean? Because you can start off so young and have all this, um, like, I, I'm i woman, hear me roar, kind of a thing. And, and then all of a sudden you get into a healthy relationship, and even as you know the Lord more, it's kind of like, yeah, well, I'll roar, but I also want to roar with the, the believers that are around me, if that, yeah. you know and, what I mean? Yeah, and I think one thing that I, I think I would love for you to speak into is um, most people, I think, would look at, like, feminism and independent as, like, no one can tell me what to do, like, I'm a woman. But I think one important thing is that you have your own individual relationship with the Lord, and yeah. you don't just ride on the tailcoats of, of your husband's relationship. And so what are ways that you have made sure that in the home and as a woman that you've established, like, I have a personal relationship with the Lord, and that is independent, and that is feminism. Like, and, but it's still, like, yeah, it goes into submission in a marriage. Right. And I think, yeah, having my own personal time, my own devotional time. Um, and I've always have done that. Now, as I've gotten older, I'm not up as early as I was when the kids were little because yeah. I don't have to. I can do it through the day. But That sounds beautiful. She I used know. to be up at like 4.30, 5, 5 o'clock. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because I wanted to have that time before the kids got up and all that kind of stuff. But now it's he's getting up earlier than I am. Because um, I'm old now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I think it's that. I think it's having friendships, not losing that part of it. <clears throat> um, but also not like going partying at the club or anything like that. But, right. you know, like you just get healthy relationships, girlfriends, um, couple friends, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And now, The only thing I would add to just expand what Jane was saying is the root word of that feministic, the world has taken, you know, the root word of that is feminine. And the world has taken something that God created very uniquely to women yeah. of being feminine, which is a gender uh, description and a role. And it has twisted that in a way to really communicate to a generation of women that you're not complete if you are submitted or if you're just a mom. Yeah. You know, just even using that phrase, just a mom, yeah. really just a mom, just a wife, just a, a homemaker, just homeschooling your kids. That doesn't mean that you can't have a career. There are women that uh, have done that very successfully. But I do believe the priority has got to be family and it has got to be the marriage and it's got to be the home. And that's unique to the gender role that God has given to women and God has given leadership role to men. In our world, to say that is scandalous, but God said it, and it hasn't changed, and a whole lot of the reasons why things are so screwed up in our world is because we're trying to stand in a place of God and say, no, I'm, I, I don't need to do things God's way. The, the, greatest, um, the greatest joy and the greatest comfort of our lives is to stand in our identity of who God's called us to be. And I have watched Jane. Uh, she is independent. I mean, she's, she's strong. Everybody thinks she's quiet and doesn't like being on stage. That's true. 
but she has strong input, discernment, opinions. Um, she pushes back when there's things that she disagrees with. Her opinion it means and carries more weight with me than anybody else because she's part of me. We're one flesh, and she sees things from a different perspective than I do. But yet she lets me lead, and she lets me love her, and she lets me do the things that God has designed a man to do which uh, in, in a marriage, which is to protect, which is to provide, and which is to lead. And we honor those unique roles in one another's lives, and that creates synergy, and it creates uh, satisfaction. Yeah, because yeah, you need both of those to create a legacy. Right. Like, it's, there is a responsibility on the man, but then, like, the calling that the Lord has placed on women is vital to the health huge. and peace of the home. Yeah. It's huge to the family, and I'm so grateful. Our kids are incredible kids. Well, they're not kids anymore. They're adults now, but they're incredible. And in large part because of Jane and her leadership in our home. Yep. I wouldn't ever let them not do something. You know what I mean? Like you're going to at least try it right out of fear. So yeah. yep. she's a great coach. So.